So you may have heard of Japan Rail Pass, but did you know there is also Japan Bus Pass, which is amazing for budget travelers. That's coming right up. <laughs> and welcome to Japanese Quest, the channel that's all about helping you guys travel Japan. So what is Japan Bus Pass? Or well, let's call it JB Pass. Well, it's a pass for long-distance buses provided by Wheeler Express Company. So you can ride their buses on 3, 5, 7 days of your choice within 2 months. It's a huge help for budget travelers. Not to mention that sleeping on an overnight bus can save you from expensive accommodation fees. Ok, now let's dig into the details. Who can use it? Japan Bus Pass is available to anyone holding a non-Japanese passport. Unlike Japan Rail Pass, you don't have to be a temporal visitor. As long as you have a non-Japanese passport, no matter you are here with a working visa, or student visa, you can still buy and use the JB Pass. Where can we go? It covers from Aomori Prefecture in North to Hakata in South and pretty much all the major cities on the main island of Japan. Tokyo, Osaka and Kyoto are three main cities which the bus network is centered around. So many cases you will depart from and come back to one of these cities. How long and how much? Its prices and ticket types are as shown. You will have a choice of 3, 5, 7 days to use the JB Pass within 2 months from your purchase. And the days do not have to be consecutive. So for example, you can purchase a 3 day pass on September 1st and then use it on September 11th. 22nd and October 30th. On top of that, you can ride up to 3 buses each day. So let's say you go to Nagoya from Osaka in the morning, come back to Osaka in the afternoon, and depart to Tokyo at night. And you still have 2 days left. Fascinating, isn't it? There are 2 types of the pass. Monday to Thursday pass means your departing day has to be one of these days, whereas all day pass, you can pick any day to use the JB Pass. In both cases, there are some blackout periods when Japan Bus Pass is not useful due to high season. The periods vary each year, but they are typically around Golden Week holidays, Obon holidays, and New Year holidays. The blackout periods are decided two months before the season and will be announced on Wheeler's website, so be sure to check that in advance. How to buy? You can purchase JB Pass on Wheeler Express's website. The payment is credit card only and there is no physical ticket, so make sure to take a note of your ID and password. How to reserve? To ride a long distance bus with a JB Pass, a reservation is mandatory each time. You can make a reservation on Wheeler's website. First, log in to my page, then go to Bus Pass Management page, choose an available bus, and proceed to booking. When completed, you will receive email including all the details such as reference number and the departure location. Again, there is no physical ticket, so make sure to keep the email. The deadline for a reservation is usually 4 to 5 hours before the departure, but sometimes they become sold out way before that, so I would advise you to plan ahead and make a reservation in advance. How to use? You can simply go to the location written in the email by the departure time. In some cases, the bus stop is a bit hard to find, so I would say you should try to arrive at least 30 minutes before the departure time. As your bus arrives, tell the bus driver your name and reference number. Occasionally, they require you to show your passport, so be sure to carry it with you. By the way, there is a luggage compartment under the bus to keep your suitcase, so no worries about that. Okay, so that's all the basic about the Japan Bus Pass. 
What do you think? Is it something interesting to you? Okay, now I'll move on and uh, let's take a look at the frequently asked questions. Pass cancellation policy. If the bus pass is unused, you can cancel it in the My Page section on Willa's website. Once you use it, partial refund is not accepted. The number of the days of the pass is not changeable, so to accomplish that, you will have to cancel your unused pass first and then buy a new one. Bus cancellation policy. If you make a bus reservation and cancel it before the departure day, the pass's status will be back to unused. If you cancel it on the departure day, while you can still use it for another route, the status will not be back to unused. Do they count an overnight bus as two days? No, they don't. They only count your departure day, so if your bus leaves on 21st and arrives on 22nd, you have only used one day of your pass. By the way, buses that leave from midnight to 3 a.m. are counted as previous day's departure. Can I choose which seat to sit? Well, I'm afraid not. Can I purchase a bus pass on behalf of my friend? Well, uh, yes and no. As long as you and your friend will always travel the same routes, you can purchase a pass for your friend from your My Page. But if you and your friend are planning to travel different routes, your friend has to buy the pass. My departure time says 2500. What does that mean? It means 1 a.m. on the next day. Well, it is a Japan thing, as we tend to burn our midnight oil. Okay, that's the details about Japan bus pass. And here is comparison to the Japan rail pass. Basically, Japan rail pass is fast and comfy, whereas Japan bus pass is slow but cheap. By the way, if you want to learn more about the Japan rail pass, I made a video for you and uh, I will put its link in the description below. Okay, that's it for today. I am Yusuke Nasu and thank you for watching Japanese Quest. And I'm doing all this because Japan is beautiful and uh, I want to share it with you so that you can learn about Japan and enrich your trip. If this is your first time here, I would like you to subscribe so that we can continue our journey together. If you are already a subscriber, thank you always and see you in the next episode.